Hi, I'm Angel Absetti with CSP TV. Thanks for joining us. I'm here in downstate Illinois to get a first hand look at some of the format changes going on with Casey's General Stores, uh, a Midwest powerhouse with roughly 1,500 locations. I'm here with CFO and Senior Vice President Bill Wall Jasper. Bill, can you talk to us about some of the physical changes that are going on with your stores? Sure, Angel. Actually, our new store design is about 1,000 square foot larger than our existing store design. And that extra 1,000 square foot is primarily allocated to two areas, our prepared food area and expanded cooler area. We also have a lot of other changes going on in our store, Angel. We have slate floors, Corian counters, and a small sit-down area as well. I see. That's fantastic. Bill, tell us about some of the trends that are behind the reason you guys are making these changes. Well, we've been in business now for about 40 years, and in that 40 years, we've gone through quite a few different store designs. Now, each time we do a store design, it's in an effort to better serve the customer needs, and this store design is no different than that. Now, this customer needs really is in two, two areas, the growing popularity of our beverage category as well as the growing popularity of our prepared food area. Let's get into some of the specifics, and, and let's start with food service. What uh, would we expect to see when we walked into the food service area, and what, what, what things have you done with the space? Well, the prepared food area, there's a couple things going on in that category. First of all, we have an expanded coffee program. Uh, we have different flavor profiles of coffee. We have different flavor profiles of cappuccino. We have iced coffee, flavored creamers, and the syrups. We also have a new made-to-order sub-sandwich program that we haven't had before in the past. I see. And uh, talk to me a little bit about the food service program and how you use the space that you have expanded. Well, the prepared food program, as you see behind me, actually has an expanded coffee bar, just like we mentioned here. We normally have a, a normal set. It's just a regular coffee and a decaf uh, flavor profile. As you can see, it's quite a bit different in that case. Mm -hmm. Uh, and what about the made-to-order program? Well, what, is, uh, what, what do we see behind the kitchen, and what, what are some of the aspects of that? Well, the changes behind the kitchen really aren't any different than a normal store except for the made-to-order sub-program. Before, we used to have made fresh daily sub-sandwiches, put them in the cooler for our customers, but there is a demand of, of, a, of a product there. We actually took on some subways uh, as a franchisee here about uh, two years ago, saw that we could actually have a prepared food program where we had submarine sandwiches as well as our proprietary program of pizza and other products. It's done very well for us and uh, we're very excited about that program. Well thanks. Well, what about the cooler sets? You say you have more doors. What, uh, what are you filling those with? Well it, it, it depends on the, on the site. Actually we went from a nine door cooler set of a typical store to a 14 door cooler set in this new store design. Now it really depends on the, on the location there. The popularity of several products has really promulgated that particular area. One would be the expansion of energy drinks, uh, but also uh, vitamin waters uh, and different sports drinks. So it really is going to depend on the location of what we put, the, put in those coolers. And what about your plans to expand the format, the new design? What, uh, tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, by the end of our fiscal year, which for us will, will end April 30th, we're going to have, we're actually going to build 20 new stores of this particular design. We're also going to replace 20 stores. So we're going to have at least 40 of these particular locations uh, throughout the Midwest by that time period. Now also we're going to take some of the same concepts with the expanded cooler area and the, and the larger prepared food area and remodel stores. And we're going to do about 10 of those this particular year. So by the end of the fiscal year, we'll have about 50 of these particular stores up and running. Now I have to ask, uh, the economics, uh, the economy being the way it is, uh, and you're expanding at this time period, uh, can you comment about that? Well, it, it just kind of happened to fall at that particular. We didn't really necessarily decide to make an expansion due to the economic downturn. <laughs> We've had this design in the works for, for several years, and it just happened to fall, unfortunately, during a time period where the, it's been a little more turbulent times economically. However, I will say here in the Midwest, the agricultural economy has been relatively robust. So the consumer confidence in our area seems to be a little bit stronger than other parts of the country. 
Bill, I have to comment. I drove up in here uh, and saw dollar eighty-eight, and uh, where I live in Chicago, it's it's still uh, three dollars plus. Can you comment about the roller coaster ride we've seen with four dollar gas and now? below two dollars yeah it's crazy isn't it we, we, we've seen in the last probably 30 to 45 days just a dramatic decrease not only in the retail price of gas but but, but in the wholesale cost of gasoline we actually went from roughly about 350 to 360 in about 30 days down to about a dollar eighty dollar ninety it's great for consumer confidence and, and in that type of environment typically when there's a when there's a wholesale cost moving downward that typically benefits us on the on the gas margin side as well so I think uh, it's, it's a win-win it's a, it's a for a lot of people. That's fantastic. Bill, we really appreciate the time today and the insights that you've given. For CSP-TV, I'm Angel Absetti. Thanks for joining us.